Hi everyone, it's farmer Rob here from Cannon Hall Farm. Now, last night was the night, it's finally happened. Sapphire has given birth to a filly foal and we could not be happier. Uh, the foal is a real beauty. It's got three and a half white legs. It's gonna be a bay, we expected a gray, but we're happy for, I, I don't mind if it had pink spots as long as it was fitting well. And that fits all the criteria. She knew exactly where the teat was. She fed within 20 minutes of being born. Sapphire was a wonderful mother, still is a wonderful mother. She's looking after it grandly and, uh, and things have gone as well as we could possibly have hoped. The birth was the most nerve wracking thing that's happened to me in a, in a long time. Um, we, we, we made the, the deal with David, he'd gone to bed, he'd, he'd just gone to sleep. Um, I was watching the CCTV with Julie and I just said, she's gone down, she's, she's gone down, she's pushing, she's falling. Um, so quickly, quick as a, a flash, uh, I rang David and he, he woke up a bit groggy and I said, she's falling Dave, she's falling. Get yourself up there, she's gonna need some help. So he got dressed as, as quick as he could. Uh, thankfully, Anita went with him and she was getting dressed as she ran across the car park and I can't divulge any more than that. Um, and, and they got there. I was watching transfixed. All I could think about was what happened to Silver's fall um, and I could see it happening again before my very eyes. I could see two feet. There was no progress being made. Sapphire was down pushing with all the might. There was nothing happening. David arrived, Anita arrived um, and, and they were watching and I rang him and I said, what do you think? And he said, I don't know, what do you think? I says, get in there, get it delivered. I said, it's been pushing for quite a while. So they went straight in, um, thankfully, Sapphire stayed down. She looked like she might stand up as David first went in. She didn't, she lost her footing slightly. David was able to reassure her by ju just patting her gently on her side and she stayed down. It, she, she helped by, by pushing. David and Anita pulled with all the might. They pulled this beautiful little foal out. When it put its head up, I saw that big white blaze. It was the most beautiful sight of my life. I was so relieved um, and, and I can't tell you what, what a feeling it was. Um, he then backtracked as, as you need to do, let that blood transfer flow between mum and baby and, 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 and let that bond develop. Um, Sapphire laid there for at least 20 minutes without even lifting her head, she was really exhausted and, um, and, and David kindly came down, picked me up, I came up in my crutches, I did a little bit of a, a broadcast saying it's been born so I knew a lot of people were really invested in this process and, uh, and I knew that they would want to see what had, what had happened as well. The biggest relief in my life, David and Anita were brilliant. They, uh, they kept a cool head. Uh, they, they used all the strength to deliver this little filly foal. And, uh, and really, ev every half hour, it's standing up taller. Its legs are becoming more stable. Uh, it's becoming even more beautiful than when we first saw it. So all in all, it's a wonderful result. And we will keep flying the flag for every oats breeding. Um, in England because when they're gone they're gone they'll never be replaced uh, we need to promote them show what a wonderful breed they are um, I don't think you ever own these things you just have the pleasure of the company and that's how it feels with Sapphire we've, we've got to know over over the year she's become friendlier and friendlier um, she, she looked to us in her hour of need and thankfully we were there and we'll look after it and make sure this fall goes on to be an absolute smasher. Thank you very much for watching. We really appreciate your support. Please keep tuning in and we'll give you further updates of this little fall's progress and it actually needs a name so suggestions would be welcome. Bye bye.